All right, well, it's not Jordan, it's not Jerusalem. Bethesda seems close. Let's try Bethesda real quick. Let's go hit the hit the cross here. <sighs> cross is nope. stuck in the mechanism. <sighs> I can't do anything. Okay, I know I I know I have the verse and the chapter right. Now it's this. Uh fuck it. That one. <gasps> How the did we ever talk about Gol Golgutta or whatever? Ooh, it works. Well done, Louis. I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. Yeah, let's look at the inside wheels. Between the wheels. Yes. That eight seems <laughs> quite useful. There, we've had we've seen a lot of eights today, and I really oh wheel the okay. Look at the dates. Look at the mechanism. Look at this. There are notches between each of the wheels. So I have to link the name of the town from the theme I've chosen to an icon, then to a date, and finally the date to the moon. Oh God damn it. There are different icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Yeah. Well, if, I mean, we're talking about death here and death of Christ. We can either... It looks like there's a cross down here. If I can... This looks like a cross, so I think that's probably what we need to go for. I did see this. This makes sense, but this is just Jesus down here with a, with a halo, and he didn't have a halo the entire time. But that's Jesus, uh, and we haven't talked about him rising yet, so that stays there. But we do have the cross, so I think the cross needs to be where we put this. Okay, so. We talked about Bethesda at one point. Maybe I just talked about it. I don't know. So it looks like we need to create a line from there. So if I move the cross over to 8A. Well, given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. Or maybe. Mother, what do you think? As I told you, I didn't get that far. Nevertheless, these icons do represent moments in the life of Christ. Yes, yes. Okay, so here, here's the cross right here. It looks like it points inward. Actually, it looks upside down. Like, the bird looks upside down as well. But even by that standard, it looks upside down. Or maybe that's a nail. There's not a cross. It's a big T for time to leave. Um, now, this, this has to be the full moon because, well, that's, Crescent moon? No, that's crescent moon. That's that moon, that's that moon. The only one in between that would have to be full and it's covered in blood. So we know which one that is. Um, I think. Now, I don't know what to do. Like, where? how am I supposed to link this up? I'm not spending 
five points on shit. So, um, let's look at the inside wheel again. Wheel the moons. This wheel represents the different moons. In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. I still don't want to spend five points. We need to spend some points on erudition. I'll tell you that right now. Um, back. Um, we've been here, haven't we? Uh, we'll have dates. We contain several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of a year. A for April and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Listen, I'm picking that eight. I don't give a shit. The eight makes sense. Now, the problem is, where does the eight go? Um, back to the main menu. Alright, so the nails are done. I can't move the nails anymore. Now... Okay, let, let's leave here. Actually, this might be able to help me. Okay. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, Waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. Okay, let's do that. Eighth of Ron. Well, hold on. Oh, god damn it. Okay, this looks to be. Okay, so I need to look at the notes. Eight, Nissan three, so we need Rajab 611. Let's try that. Uh, where, where is that? Rajab? There it is. Six at it. of Rajab. 611. Waxing Crescent. Okay, Waxing Crescent. Let me write that down here. I'm find a pen. So, inner circles. Uh, waxing Crescent. Thanks. I can't say that's not wrong. I mean, let, let's take a look at this again. Actually, it could... Oh, well... It could be the... We didn't say 8 Nissan 3. It was just 8 Nissan. So the... Hmm. 26th of March? Let's try the 7 Shaban. Seventh of Shaban, six oh seven, first quarter. Or first quarter. Okay. I don't remember which one first quarter is, though. Let's do the... The moon shadow moves from west to east. During new moon, the moon is okay. entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, okay. waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and... The cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. That doesn't tell me how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> so I think first... Well... You know what? I'm going with my first... With my first one. Now the only thing I can think of now is... Let's turn the wheel of the dates... Yes. 
Maybe. I'm picking eight. And then left to right, waxing crescent is the first one. So I, I, I really hope that's the waxing crescent. It kind of makes sense. And like that, now I have to figure out like the T. It looks like I just need to point it north towards Bethlehem. So I'm, I, it's gotta be the T or, or the, the nail. I think it's a nail. We're gonna call it a nail. And we're going to move, well, the, the Celtic cross, or I don't know. I think that, is that the Celtic cross? I don't know. It doesn't match with 8A whatsoever. So I think that's it. I, that's, that's gotta be it. If it's not it, I'm going to be really pissed. Uh, cause I'm about to get my hand chopped off. So let's put my hand in this bitch. Put in your hand. Goodbye, I left hand. I lever at the bottom. Good luck. Uh, take out your arm. No, we're pulling the lever. I <gasps> never doubted you, my son. Holy shit! Trey unlocked a big head. I'm smiling like a dumbass right now. I only- I missed one alternate path, I didn't fail anything. That's the end of episode three, too. Oh. You have no idea how happy I am. Level 11. Hell yeah. Hot shit. Now where's this erudition thing? This is, yes. We need this now. Oh. Well, that was... That was a really, really difficult puzzle. I didn't know what to do with the last one, so I figured they have to just point up. Like a Skyrim puzzle. Fuck, dude, that was... That was really hard. I don't want to put that into conviction, actually. Honestly, it doesn't matter where I put things. I think I was getting one of these ready to keep going. But I think I can go with... Science and occultism will be the next ones. Okay. Let's validate. Oh. Alright, episode three. If I remember correctly, episode three had some of the hardest puzzles so far. It makes sense, because we're progressing in episodes, but... I think it's actually one of my favorites right now. I think it is my favorite of the three. The first episode was just weird, and I didn't get it. It made no sense to me. And then... Episode 2, we just sort of got the no characters, and, and now... Now we're in the... 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 the teeth. We're... we're, uh, we're in the teeth of it. Because Emily and Emma... We picked the right Emma. We did a good job on that one. Listen, I'm taking my time on all these puzzles. I don't give a shit. Um, because I, I guess I, I slept with. I don't remember how I did it. It's been like two days, and I had class today, so leave me alone. But. I'm just gonna say right now, this is one of my favorite episodes of the game. I'm hoping it's how this works for the, how it is for the rest of the game. And actually, I hope it gets better and better, but I really hope that uh, we haven't hit the peak. But in terms of puzzles, I hope that is the hardest they get. It's gotta be. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be really upset. If, if there's harder episode, uh, harder puzzles, I don't know. That door puzzle for uh, 1191 was really fucking difficult. That hurt me. Or, yeah, 1911, 1191. I don't know. Oh, they thanked me. Very nice. That was fun, though. Also, I did find that glitch where I was able to walk out of Elizabeth Adams' room into just, like, thin air. 
which was cool. I was hoping there'd be like an item or something over there. That'd be funny. Um, yeah. But I, I actually can't grade these quite yet. If I had to grade this anything, I would say this this episode by itself was like an eight and a half. Um, if the one before that was like a seven and a half, the one before that was a five. I don't remember what I graded it or if I did. I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, now, the next one we have to do, the final vote. Apparently I can start and start number five with skipping this entire thing. I'm not going to do that, but yeah. Next time we'll be jumping into chapter four, the spearhead part 11 or what chapter four part. Yeah. Chapter four, part 11, I guess and we'll move on from there and then just keep going. So that'll have to be it for me today. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hopefully the audio didn't fuck up. <laughs>